Hello. Wait, let me turn off the thing. So, today is... I don't know what today... I think today is like August 7th. Which means... I'm five... No. <laughs> Math! All I know is that I'm five days away from... No, six? Five? Wait, wait. Yeah, okay, I'm five days away from the end of my quarantine. Um, my sleep is still terrible. It feels like how I felt before I got my sleep meds. Like before I went to the hospital, before they changed my sleep meds, actually. This is how I felt when I was on my first sleep meds, when I was on Xanax. Um, so it was like not fun going back to it. You know, like, because the, the sleep meds were working pretty well. But I think the time zones and everything, like jet lag, jet lag, jet lag um, kind of messed it up for me. So today again, went to bed at 12, woke up at 3. And then I couldn't go back to sleep anymore, so I just woke up. I cut my hair. So I have like a fresh undercut. Also, my hair is getting super long again. Like I cut, I cut it um, like ten days ago, I think. No, I cut, I cut it like two or three days before coming here. So not that long ago, and it's already like super long. So I don't know if I should grow it again or if I should cut it again. It's like me, Chongku. Long hair, short hair, long hair, short hair. <laughs> anyway, so I cut, I cut my hair, I showered, I did laundry, I cleaned the house. I've been watching movies. So like nothing, there's really not, nothing much to update. I talked to my mom before she went to sleep. And then when my girlfriend woke up, she called me and we talked. Yesterday, I talked to Astrid on on FaceTime because she was on a ferry, so she wanted me to see the view of the ferry. <laughs> and it was pretty cool, but apart from that, like, there's nothing much to update on because every day is, like, the same. Um, but I'm still chill, you know? Like, I think now that it's almost over, I'm kind of getting, like, uh, okay, I'm done with this. But it's not so terrible because, like, I never get bored if I'm alone. I'm not, like, a person who gets bored. I can, like, have fun by myself, you know? But it's still... I'm already getting into the mood of, like, oh, okay, I want to, like, go out. And, you know, I want to see my girlfriend. I want to see the city. But, I mean, five days is nothing. And also, in three days, I'm going to go out to get my final COVID test. So... I'll be leaving the house for like, I don't know, 20 minutes in a taxi, but still. Um, yeah, so there's nothing much to update. I don't, I don't think I filmed anything yesterday. I don't remember, but yeah, nothing much to update on. Still the same. It's been pretty good because I can watch a lot of movies. I mean, I, I always do it anyway. Um, I've been reading. So yeah, I'm five days away from being a proper soul haram. Finally. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi, it's me again. I cut my hair again because in the morning I only shaved my undercut. So now I like cut my hair, like cut, cut my, like, you know the hair part <laughs> so I took another shower um, and I think today is gonna be the day that I'm not gonna nap and I think today is gonna be the day that I'm gonna sleep well I mean not well but like better than the other days because it's already like 
4 p.m. And I've been awake since, I don't know, 3 a.m. And I still haven't napped. So... Like, obviously I'm tired, but I'm not sleepy, so I'm not gonna even try to go to sleep. And then, when it's like evening, I can try to go to sleep. Also, I've been, I'm watching, um, I don't know if you know her, she's a YouTuber. Um, her name is Karen O, oh, and she recently moved to Hong Kong, and she's currently quarantining right now. And it's like so funny to see someone else quarantining right now, because, like the same as me. But in Hong Kong, you have to quarantine for 21 days. So, and she has a baby too. I mean, obviously she has her husband to help, but imagine quarantining 21 days with a baby. But yeah, anyway, random, but it's just like funny watching people quarantining at the same time as me. <laughs> and we're like close to each other, like part of the world. But yeah, also that was my lunch. I'm gonna eat mandu that I got yesterday delivered and I got like one pack for free two for one so that's my meal for today I'm excited to try because it, it looks really good um, and then I also got for free as well like fried um, soybean curd I've never had it so I'm excited to try I think I'm gonna like make some ramen with it or maybe like some kimchi jjigae or something like that. Uh, but yeah, fingers crossed, like 4 p.m. I'm still not napping or falling asleep. So hopefully I can hang in there until evening. But yeah, bye. I was too lazy to cook it, but this is my mandu. It's from, like, I think the brand itself is vegan. Because for the burger, they, they do, like, other stuff and they have, like, a vegan line. But I think the mandu is, like, from a vegan brand. I ate one already, obviously, because I would never have an even number. Anyway, so I microwaved it and it tastes amazing. Like this in a soup would, oh. And like, obviously, if you like fry it or something, it would probably taste even nicer. But the, the way this is right now is already like so good. So yeah, I'm like excited that I found this. And I got one pack for free. And I had no idea, so yeah. Dude, I'm so happy. Like, I called my dad because um, today in Brazil is Father's Day, but it's still yesterday there. So we just talked for a bit, and he was like, "Korea is playing right now, volleyball, like the, the women's team." And it, like, volleyball is one of my favorite sports to watch. And I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna try to find like, find like a link to watch." And I was like, "Oh yeah, I have probably I'll have to like pirate a link or something." But since I'm in Korea and uh, Korea is playing, I can just watch it on KBS, like online. And it, like, I'm having so much fun. I love watching volleyball. It's my second favorite sport to watch after tennis, obviously. Like, I hate to play volleyball, but I love to watch it. And now it's like break time and stuff like that. And also the funniest thing is that I was, um, they asked, like, Korea, the Korean team asked for timeout. And then their coach started talking and I was like, dude, no way. He was talking in, in English, but his accent was Italian. So like the Itali the Korean uh, women's team coach is Italian. And then I was like Googling like Korean coach. And then like, obviously his name is like Stefano. Cause like, I was like, no, the, 
this accent, man, like it can't be anything else. So yeah, I was like, it was like super funny. Anyway. I was having like a shit time this night. Um, like, you know, yesterday and then today until like 5 a.m just not feeling very not like um physically like mentally i was feeling like very shitty not well at all but now i feel better um and i'm excited to watch the game so yeah i have four days of quarantine to go and two days until i get my final test so yeah bye Hello. I have three days left of quarantine. I have nothing to update on, but I wanted to show you how pretty these bricks are. Aren't they super cool? a lot of movies so it's fine um yeah so tomorrow i'll be only two days away from the end of quarantine and then the day after tomorrow i'll be one day away from the end of quarantine so yeah tomorrow so probably the next time you'll see me i'll be going to get tested tomorrow morning so Bye. Um, I'm not still here. <laughs> some some hours have passed, but uh, I was editing um, one of my videos. Actually, not editing. I was just like correcting the timing of the captions because all the videos that I've filmed so far are already up on YouTube, but they're unlisted, and they, so I could like already caption them beforehand. But there was one of them that like the captions came out like really wrong and weird like the timing and everything so i was fixing that and it was really annoying but now it's done so yeah now you'll see me tomorrow for my covid test hello i just woke up i slept really well last night um, I didn't nap for the whole day because yesterday I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I didn't nap for the entirety of the day and then I went to bed at like 10 and I woke up just now which is like 5 30 so now I'm gonna chill a little bit before I have to get dressed and go and, and go and go get tested um it's at nine, so I have a few hours to chill or do whatever, but I slept for eight hours, man. That's like, like not eight hours, seven hours, I think. But yeah. Ugh. It's weird. I haven't slept this long in, like, ever since I arrived here, so. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna chill, and then I'm gonna get dressed, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go get tested. Bye. Hello. I'm ready to go. I got dressed up. Um, I just had to get my mask and my backpack, and then I'm gonna go downstairs to wait for the taxi. And then the taxi's gonna wait there for me, and then he's gonna bring me back home.
because that's how quarantine taxis work. Um, the trip there is gonna be so fast. Like I, like I said, like I can walk there in four minutes, but they said I have to take a taxi. So um, yeah, I don't know if the line is gonna be long or anything like that, but hopefully I'll come back soon and hopefully the test result is gonna be okay. Hopefully, should be okay. Um, but yeah, I'll update you later. I also, I forgot to say, but I have to... I don't know if I said this in another video or something, but I have to contact my official like health person, officer thing, to let them know that I'm leaving and Obviously, they ask questions like where, like, did you get a taxi and stuff like that. But yeah, I have to call or text um, when I leave and then when I come back. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Dude, I'm outside. I'm sad. Just waiting for my taxi. It's not gonna last long, but still. When I went down the stairs, I was like, oh my god, I'm going down the stairs. Cause like I've been quarantining, I quarantined for 14 days before I came to Korea too, so <laughs> it's been like a month, but yeah. Hello. We just got back from the from the testing center. Uh, it was so full. There were way more people than when I first um, came. Way more people. I think the overall thing took like an hour. And last time it was like five minutes in and out. That's it. Um, but yeah. Hopefully my results will be okay. Um, they're gonna come out tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I have to wait like one day. It's now 9.54. Yeah, so 23 hours I have to wait. And then tomorrow is like my final day, my final full day quarantining. And then the day after that, um, I'm free after 12. So fingers, fingers crossed. I mean, I've been literally quarantined, so it should be fine. But yeah, I'm going to go wash my clothes, like do the laundry and take a shower. Bye. But before I can shower and do anything, I'm having a cigarette because I haven't had a cigarette in 12 hours. Same reason why I didn't have, I didn't smoke before my other COVID tests. Because they say you shouldn't smoke before the test. So now I'm enjoying my morning cigarette. Also, my Korean popped off because while I was waiting downstairs for the taxi, uh, Harmony, like a, an old lady, a grandma, came up to me and she was like, Oh, what are you doing? Are you waiting? And I was like, yeah, I'm waiting for the taxi. And then she was like, oh, where are you going? I'm going all, all in Korean. And I was like, just it was just coming out of me. And then I said, oh, I'm going to the Yongsan Health Center to get my COVID test. And then she was like, oh, are you alone? And I was like, yeah. She was like, 
why don't you walk? It's like so so fast. You can go here and here and then you get there. And then I explained to her that since I'm quarantining, I have to take a taxi. Like the words just came out of my mouth and I understood what she was saying. It was so funny and also so cool because like after the conversation finished, I was like, I did that. <laughs> it was so cool. But yeah, anyway. Hello. I just got my test result and I'm negative, which means my quarantine ends tomorrow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Party, party, yeah. Yeah, so I got the result. Um, I, have, I have to wait until tomorrow anyway. But tomorrow at 12 at noon, I'm free and my girlfriend's gonna come over. But yeah, my quarantine, I have like 24 hours left of being stuck here. And then after that, I'm free to be a sole citizen. So I've been cleaning the house, tidying everything, cleaning the bathroom and everything. Because my girlfriend arrives tomorrow. So I'm tidying everything, cleaning everything which is like what I've been doing every day <laughs> but now it's like, you know, I'm doing it doing it and also I set up the tripod f to catch the moment that we meet because there is the door <laughs> and then I set up the tripod here so I can film us meeting for the first time <laughs> it looks so funny but yeah hello so it's my final evening being quarantined and I think now because it's so close to ending it feels like time is like really slow. <laughs> I've lost count of like how many hours of like documentaries and movies I've watched since I've been quarantined because like I watch like regularly I watch a lot of movies. Um, and since it's quarantine and I didn't have, didn't really have to go out or do anything, I wouldn't say I've watched that much more than what I usually do, but I definitely watched more. And like right now, I just finished a 430 minutes uh, documentary series that I started like yesterday or something so um, yeah but it's it's going by really slowly it's 7 p.m but it's it's very slow i'm gonna start watching another movie now and then probably another one after that and then another one after that until i until i go to sleep Maybe I'll read in between. But yeah. I can't believe I've been here for 14 days already. My I like my concept uh, my concept of time is kind of like because as I said before, I I was quarantining in Italy for 14 days too before I came. So I've been living in this like limb. I mean, ever since the pandemic started, really, I've been staying at home. Like I haven't gone to a restaurant. I haven't gone to a bar. I haven't gone to eat out anything ever since like February and March 2020. So it's been well over a year. And even like when lockdown restrictions kind of eased in Italy, I was still like scared to go places. Um, so it's gonna be, I've been thinking about how, how it's gonna be to like kind of go back into the real world after being living, after like living like a hermit for, for a year and like, nine months, a year and eight months, so, yeah.
yeah, tomorrow I kind of go back into the real world. And it's scary, obviously, you know, like that, there's a reason why I still stayed inside even after lockdown restrictions eased back in Italy. It's because I'm anxious and I'm scared, but now that I'm vaccinated, um, it gives me a little bit more peace of mind, even though I know it's not like a, you know, a hundred percent protection kind of thing, but I think it's gonna help me go back into the world a little bit. And also, even though the cases in Korea are, are really high compared to what they were before, it's still like nowhere near compared to what Italy went through and even the kind of restrictions they have here. So um, I'm curious to see how this going back into the real world thing is gonna go for me. My therapist is on vacation, so I guess I'll have a lot to tell her when she comes back, but like I'm positive, I'm, I'm feeling confident, otherwise I wouldn't have made the decision to move, but I'm still like, wow, like I'm, I'm going back to the real world, you know, it's a strange feeling. Hello, my quarantine ends in six hours. <laughs> I just woke up, it's like 6 a.m., but I slept really well again. I think I'm finally like fixing my sleep schedule. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna chill until like eight or something, until I start doing things to get ready to see my girlfriend because she's gonna come, so. I'm gonna chill for a little bit um, and then I'm gonna start doing stuff shower and stuff like that you know do a final tidy up of the house um, put on some fresh bed sheets and yeah can't believe my quarantine ends today man what the hell okay Hello. So, my girlfriend is on her way. Um, I'm all. I took a shower. I tidied everything. Um. So now. I just have to wait. <laughs> yeah. Also, I hurt myself. And I have a cookie. Band aid. Anyway, how do I look? <laughs> the same as always. Okay, bye. <laughs> this is my first time in a restaurant since February 2020. Do you want to be in it? I have cotton pads, but like the round ones. I think I'm scared.
<laughs> Ballerina. Clown. Ballerina. Clown. Clown. Say, say. Do like this. Oh my god. Two, two size. Oh, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh.